For this particular problem, I ask you to find the second derivative of this function, and it's actually pretty tough. The first derivative is easy, though, so let's find the first derivative. That's how we begin. So we just take this derivative, so we get 6x, that's it there, plus 8y dy dx, the derivative of 4 is 0. Okay, so we'll move the 6x over. I'll divide both sides by 8y. And dy dx would equal negative 6x over 8y. Now that simplifies to negative 3x over 4y. Okay, so I asked you to find dy dx. That's how that would begin. But that's not what the problem asked. So the problem asks you to find the second derivative. And so you see your symbol up there. That means we're going to take the derivative with respect to x of this piece right here. Now, when we do the green step, that means we're going to have to use the quotient rule. So the second derivative would equal low d high minus high d low all over low squared. low d high minus high d low over low squared. So when we clean this up, we get negative 12y. Two negatives make a positive. That would be positive 12x dy dx over 16y squared. Because you had 4 squared and y squared. Now, you can't have a dy dx, you can't have a derivative inside of a derivative, so what we have to do is go back to this red step over here, where it tells you, let me go down one, right here, where it tells you that dy dx, it gives you an answer for that piece. Okay, so let me write that out. We have negative 12y plus 12x times something over 16y squared. In the previous column, it says dy dx equals negative 3x over 4y. Okay, so we're going to get negative 12y. When we clean up the second part, it's going to make a complex fraction, and you're going to get negative 36x squared over 4y, and that's over 16y squared. Now, of course, that 36 and 4, that simplifies. So that's 9x squared over y. Now we need to simplify that complex fraction. And in order to simplify the complex fraction, you see that you have a denominator of y. So what you can do with that is you can use a rule back from algebra days that says I'm going to multiply the top by y and I'm going to multiply the bottom by y. And that gets rid of your complex fraction. So if you multiply y across the top, you get negative 12y squared minus 9x squared over 16y cubed. And now I no longer have 
a complex fraction. So I multiplied it here, that's how I got the y squared, and when I multiplied it times this one, the y in the bottom and the blue y canceled out, leaving me with 9x squared. Now here's where it gets tricky. What you'll notice in the top is that they share a common factor of 3. So I can factor that out. Now I also notice they share a negative, so I can actually factor a negative 3 out. If you look back at the beginning problem, way back at the tip top of this page, it tells you in the beginning, it says if you have a 3x squared plus 4y squared, that equals 4. So look here in this green step here at the bottom, you have a 3y squared you have a 3y squared plus 4y squared. So at the top, that told you that was a 4. So it circles back around. When you have one of these, they circle back around. So that gives you a negative 12 in the top and a 16y cubed in the bottom. And of course, that's your d2y dx squared. So that simplifies because it reduces by 4 to negative 3 over 4y cubed.